In this video, we'll do a related rates problem involving rotation and angles. A lighthouse that's half a mile west of shore has a rotating light that makes two revolutions per minute in the counterclockwise direction. The shore runs north-south, and there's a cave directly east of the lighthouse. How fast is the beam of light moving along the shore at a point one mile north of the cave. We've drawn a picture. Now let's label it with variables for all the quantities that are changing with time. The distance between the lighthouse and the cave, that's fixed, so we don't have to put a variable for that. But the distance between the cave and the point on the shore where the light is hitting, that's varying. So I'll call that, say, x. Since we want to know how fast the beam of light is moving, we're going to want to know how that distance x is changing. In other words, we want to calculate dx dt when x is 1. The hypotenuse of this right triangle made by the beam of light is also changing with time, as is the angle here between the beam of light and the east-west line. I'll call that angle theta. And the angle up here, I suppose, is also changing. I can call that phi. This angle is the right angle between the east-west line and the north-south line, so that doesn't change. It's always 90 degrees. Next, we want to write down equations to relate the quantities of interest. Whenever I see a right triangle in a problem, I'm tempted to write down the Pythagorean theorem, which in this case would say 1 half squared plus x squared equals h squared. But in this particular problem, it doesn't look like that's going to help us much because the Pythagorean theorem would relate x and h, but we don't have any information about how h is changing. The only rate of change information given to us is this two revolutions per minute. Two revolutions per minute is indirectly telling us how this angle theta is changing, because if the light beam is making two revolutions per minute, then since there are two pi radians in a revolution, that amounts to a change of 4 pi radians per minute for the angle theta. Therefore, I'd really like to write down the equation that has to do with theta and x. And from trig, I know that tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. So I can write down tangent theta equals x divided by 1 half, or in other words, tangent theta is 2x. This is the equation that I need that relates x and theta. Now I'm going to derive both sides with respect to time t, and I get secant squared theta d theta dt equals 2 times dx dt. Next I can plug in numbers and solve for my quantity of interest, which is dx dt when x equals 1. We already figured out from the two revolutions per minute that d theta dt is 4 pi. Now secant theta is 1 over cosine theta. And since cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, its reciprocal is hypotenuse over adjacent. So in our picture, that gives us h over 1 half. Well, when x equals 1, h is going to be the square root of 1 squared plus a half squared by the Th Pythagorean theorem. And we'll divide that by 1 half, and simplifying, we get the square root of 5 fourths divided by 1 half, which ends up as the square root of 5. So let's plug these values into our equation involving derivatives, and we get the square root of 5 squared for secant squared times 4 pi for d theta dt equals 2 times dx dt. Solving for dx dt, we get dx dt is 5 times 4 pi divided by 2, or 10 pi. So 
what are the units here on dx dt? Since our distance has been in miles and our time is in minutes, this is 10 pi miles per minute. If I want to convert this to more standard units of miles per hour, I can just multiply my 10 pi miles per minute by 60 minutes per hour to get 600 pi miles per hour. That works out to about 1,885 miles per hour, which is pretty darn fast. In this related rates problem, we related rotations per minute to a change in angle per minute. And we used a trig equation to relate angle and side length.